Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. I've been looking forward to putting some content together on YouTube all day. Uh, probably not surprising to you given the ridiculously awesome news in terms of XRP leading the market. Uh, the, the, all, the surge that we have seen today in price, XRP started it. Now, I'll put out a separate video where there's a bit more of an in-depth analysis uh, from multiple uh, trading analysts that, uh, that I follow. Uh, but for now, I wanted to highlight this one. This is a fun piece from Forbes today, and it is titled Ripple's XRP <laughs> Suddenly Soars, Boosting Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. Here's why. So we're going to give the take on that. And uh, uh, also, I've got a number of tweets from the XRP community. I also have a tweet from Ripple uh, from a few days ago that I missed, but I want to highlight it. I just came across it in my Twitter feed today. And so, uh, lots to talk about. Frankly, there is so much today that I, I literally just do not have the time to cover everything that uh, is in the news today. So I had to kind of carefully pick and choose, which I guess is kind of a fun problem to have. But everybody wants to talk about XRP, and I can't blame them. I'm one of those people. So there we go. Uh, before going any further, though, if you would please delicately tap that like button. And if you are a fan of Ripple and XRP, and uh, like the fact that XRP led the market rally today, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel because after all, this is an XRP-centric channel, so you've come to the right spot if that is your jam. And you know what, even, I'm not even talking to you though, Mr. Bitcoin Maxi out there, the occasional Bitcoin Maxi uh, listening to the Moon Lambo channel. I like you, you should subscribe too. We can be friends anyway, it's fine. <laughs> so uh, this, this first piece I got from Pucci who wrote, yeah baby, uh, linking to the, the, the Forbes article that I just cited there and tagged me along with some others. So uh, hello, good sir, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Um, I, I wanted to share with you this picture from uh, JC Crypto. If you're not driving, go ahead and take a look at your screen. I got a chuckle out of this one. And he, he wrote this. Guys, just pulled up at home. Look what XRP did. And there's a green candle, chart candle, sticking out of someone's broken roof. <laughs> I thought it was funny anyway, so I thought I would kick off the video with that, that image right there. Now, as far as this piece from Forbes here, written by Billy Bambro, I've covered articles from him in the past, including uh, this one that I pulled up on the screen. This is from December 20th. Talk about uh, polar opposite headlines. This is from December 20th of 2019. XRP disappoints after Ripple surprise $10 billion boost. And, of course, what he was referencing here was the, the Series C uh, funding, which I've, I've covered uh, a fair bit on this channel, pretty in-depth. Uh, with uh, Ripple taking in an additional $200 million, even though, frankly, they didn't really need it. Uh, could be for a number of reasons, including potentially an IPO. We'll see if that comes down the road. Uh, but ended up valuing the company at $10 billion. So amidst that good news, uh, the way that this particular author decided to frame everything was XRP disappoints. And what was he talking about? The price action. Look at this. Ripple's news. Uh, a comp announced on the company website sent the XRP price sharply higher, up around 4% on the last 24-hour period, a trading period, to uh, 19 cents per XRP token. But uh, the other information that they cited, I mean, I'll say this, most of the, the news in this, this article, mostly positive stuff, but still they wanted to kind of frame it with some negative price action. I don't know where I saw it, and I don't really want to get into this too much and make you guys uh, sit around while I, I look for some of the... Uh, the, the, piece, the parts of this article where they were talking negatively. But uh, the, the point being, uh, it's, just, it's, it's fascinating to see uh, crypto media, uh, the, the way that they can choose to frame. And I, I think you know, it seems to me they're just, I, I get it, they, they want to have an attention-grabbing headline, but what a false narrative. So now we jump to today. Ripple's XRP suddenly soars, boosting Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. Here's why. Uh, Ripple's XRP, currently the world's third biggest cryptocurrency by market value behind Bitcoin and Ethereum, has suddenly soared, jumping by around 10% and prompting an uptick in most other major cryptocurrencies. Uh, now, this is fascinating to see today, and I'm looking forward to putting out a separate video where we take a little bit of a deeper dive, but I will say this. Uh, as, as far as XRP leading the market... This is not the first time, but it doesn't happen that frequently. The vast majority of the time, there's a, a notable move in, in the crypto asset class, whether it's up or down, it's almost always Bitcoin. Not exclusively, but almost always. And I cited, I'm just pulling from memory here, but over the last year, 2019, that calendar year, 
uh, I had the pleasure of reporting that there were at least three occasions where XRP did just this and actually led the market. And I'm not aware of it having happened uh, prior to that. So if there are previous calendar years, uh, maybe I'm just unaware of the fact. But it seems like this is a, a newer uh, a newer development, a newer thing that seems to be happening with, uh, at this point, I would say, a certain amount of uh, notable repetition, even if it's not... Uh, Again, fine. Bitcoin's the leader, but it's it's happening more and more. That's that's my perception, anyway. anyway Ripple's XRP led the market higher today, up around ten percent, while Bitcoin Cash added some five percent, and Ethereum was up three percent. Uh, Bitcoin, usually the main crypto market mover, was relatively unchanged, up by some one percent, along with its rival Litecoin, perhaps due to a famous Bitcoin bet uh, being revealed as a ruse, which I talked on the channel talking about. Uh, John McAfee, and of course he uh, just kind of kicked Bitcoin to the curb <laughs> with a, a recent uh, a tweet on the Twitters. Um, XRP's sudden surge higher comes after Malta-based Bitcoin and cryptocurrency exchange Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange by volume, announced it will be adding Ripple's XRP and the stablecoin Tether as a futures trading pair. Now, you know that really burns my biscuits when they write Ripple's XRP because they're not referencing that XRP which Ripple holds, and Ripple does not own the distributed ledger technology that uh, XRP sitting on, the XRP ledger itself. Burning my biscuits, bro. Come on, Billy. The XRP Tether contract offers leverage of up to 75 times, according to Binance, and is the exchange's fourth Tether-tied futures trading pair, along with Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum. Now, uh, Ripple has said it expects to grow its customer base by 30% to 40% this year from 300 currently. So that would mean on the low end, I mean, if you can imagine at least 390 customers. So even if it's somewhere between 30 40%, probably over 400 customers uh, by the end of the calendar year 2020. And no doubt, many of them will be utilizing uh, Ripple's on-demand liquidity, uh, taking advantage of XRP as a bridge currency for cross-border payments, which I think long-term will bode well for the price of XRP. But uh, to be clear, that is not financial advice. Don't buy or sell because of that. No financial background here. Um, the sharp rise in the XRP price comes on the back of comments made by Ripple Chief Executive Brad Garlinghouse uh, late last year, playing down suggestions Ripple is selling off large amounts of XRP and claiming Ripple quote, can't control XRP price. And here's a quote now from Brad Gollinghouse, Ripple CEO. Ripple owns a lot of XRP. We're very interested in the success of XRP, but the accusations of us dumping, uh, that's not in our best interest to do that, a Garlinghouse told U.S. television network CNN last month, adding, we would never do that, and in fact, we've taken steps to lock up most of the XRP we own in escrows, so we can't touch it. Uh, that's that's you know, actual quotes, uh, but Billy got a little something wrong there. That wasn't last month. That was actually September, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, you know, crypto media, even in Forbes, apparently, <laughs> can, can, can get some facts wrong here and there. Uh, Garland House also denied that Ripple, which owns some 60% of XRP tokens, could move the XRP price. And here's another quote. Ripple can't control the price of XRP any more than the whales can control the price of Bitcoin. And so there you have it. Uh, next, here's a tweet from XRP Crypto Wolf, and I like this one. And this is actually a quote uh, from Elon Musk. When Henry Ford made cheap, reliable cars, people said, nah, what's wrong with a horse? That was a huge bet he made, and it worked. And then XRP Crypto Wolf continues by writing this, and these are his words now. This is going to be the same exact story for Swift, which in parentheses he writes are the horses, uh, with Ripple and XRP, being the cars, taking them over completely in due time. Oh, Mr. XRP Crypto Wolf, I am on board conceptually. Where are you going with that? I don't know that uh, Swift will ever completely go away for a number of reasons I won't get into in this video, but I've talked about it in the past. But absolutely, fully on board, uh, Swift is done going to get disrupted. Okay, that seems pretty damn clear to me. Uh, going to lose market share. Here's a tweet from Artura Portia, uh, formerly known as XRP Research Center, and he wrote this. XRP currently outperforming Bitcoin in 2020. And this is fun to me. I, I, I wanted to highlight this. I, mean, I just came across this in my, my news feed, my little Twitter feed. And uh, it's it's so funny. You can you can arbitrarily choose a timeline, which was done in 2019, uh, talking about how XRP 
is, is, is down, especially if you look at the price action of Bitcoin. Oh my God, what a terrible leave for forming assets. Uh, you could look at the short window in 2020 and say, hey, XRP is killing Bitcoin. Or you could look back three years ago and you could see that if you just look three years back, XRP uh, performed substantially better than Bitcoin. Pick your timeline. And so I just kind of want to point this out, especially with it being clearly the case that uh, media is going to paint whatever narrative they want and it's not necessarily the truth and i think it's worth being aware of that and and so um to me just a a fun thing to to consider all right next here's a tweet from ripple on january 2nd and i missed this this is the tweet i was talking about that i had missed and all right uh, we've crossed the chasm of adoption the latest blockchain in payments report reveals how the flywheel for blockchain in payments is set to spin faster than ever before. And there's a little screen grab here. Uh, here we go. And there's it says 85%. B- big printed 85% right there. Uh, so 85% of respondents already using blockchain see power in pairing it with digital assets. Hmm, how about that? Now, that specifically I hadn't seen, but I did cover the rest of what they were talking about here, and it was a piece. I'm not going to run through it in this video. I was just highlighting it, just so you know. It was a piece from December 10th, 2019. Swell 2019, fueling blockchain adoption and innovation. And there was, there was one funny stat. I'll mention this before wrapping up the video. Uh, this year's findings reveal widespread adoption of blockchain-based payments by financial service providers. The toughest point of any new technology is going from the early adopters to the early majority. Majority. This year, we saw that 35% of respondents are in productions. Uh, not productions. Production. <laughs> We've crossed the chasm of adoption, explained a Grealish. And so uh, there you go. Things heading in the right direction, I'd say. Don't know uh, if XRP is going to keep going in this direction price-wise without a pullback, but hey, I never pretend to know what's happening price-wise. It's just fun to track this stuff, and I'm all about the fundamentals. That's why I'm happy to be an investor in XRP. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.